What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we just getting straight to it. We in the gym. This is a gym video. For those who are like, you know, aren't really interested in my vlog stuff, cool, I feel you. I wish you would be, but I feel you. So today is a straight heavy hitter. We're doing a full body workout. Um, what I kind of been doing lately are about four, three to four full body workouts a week. And then in those in between days, I'm kind of doing a um, mobility, a bit performance type of days. So I've been hitting, I, I've just been feeling better at hitting um, full body workouts. And um, um, I have my next tryout for USFL, CFL, um, XFL, you know, even NFL scouts this weekend. I'm in Houston right now at the gym. I, call, I think it's called Legacy, Legacy Gym, something like that. Um, I'm in Houston in the woodlands, uh, staying with my brother. And uh, yeah, I'm out here. I'll be at Alpha Land. I'll be at uh, Russ Lowe's gym. So hit that like button. And you know what I'm saying? You know, hopefully I can do some collabs with uh, some friends out here. I'll be out here for a week or two actually, out in Houston. So we just drove in today. And uh, yo, let's get it. Let's get to the workout. Full body days require full body warm ups. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Starting off with my normal rotations, lifting my shoulders. Working on my shoulders, keeping those shoulders healthy. I've been doing really well lately, keeping my shoulders healthy. Um, doing the cross balls, breaking all that fascia down, uh, strengthening them properly, getting good range of motion. And it all lies within the chest. That, that chest, that, that, not, not breaking down your chest properly. But, um, doing like real foam rolling it with the lacrosse ball, really digging deep in, in those areas, especially where that that front delt and that pec connects, like right here, that becomes a big issue with, you know, this running motion right here. And it's that front area and that back, um, right below the, right below your rod, it's right below the trap in like the, in the lat. There's a certain spot in the lat that you need to release that will help release the uh, shoulders. And um, tomorrow, next video, I'll get on that. But right now, we're just here to fuck up some iron. This would be like the last iron, you know, bodybuilder kind of type day. It's, it's not bodybuilder, but it's more like a speed bodybuilder kind of day. All right, so right now we'll do single leg. Uh, Six, working on being explosive. These are all gonna be quick, quick reps. All right, first set, got out the way. That wasn't jumping, but this second set will be jumping sets. That'll be set to six, each leg. Come here. Uh, uh. Legs. We got about three sets of this. Three sets, including the warm up set, and then we have three sets. Six reps each leg, explosive. Get up off the ground. One thing that, looking back at this video, that I see, I need to make sure that I'm fully locking out that leg. There's a soft in my 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 leg, uh, my knee that you see, and I wasn't. I was pretty much pre-jumping, so I want when I jump, I want that that boom, that lockout. This is the knee, I want that boom, that lockout, versus a soft kind of lockout. Uh, Cause we need more power. The straighter that leg is, 
the more power we get into it. So, uh, so this is the first set. First, I mean, this is the first exercise done. Now we're moving on. So now we've got the pitch shark machine. The thing about the pitch shark machine that I like a lot is because it takes tension off my spine. You know, everything is loaded around my hips and uh, it allows me to focus more on my movement around my hips and be more explosive and uh, get my foot placement correct. So um, honestly, I, I like the pitch shark a lot, especially when I'm working on my vert. And what we're about to do right now is about to do a cluster set. We got three exercises back to back. We got the pitch shark. Uh, jumps, and then we have we have two types of jumps. We have jumps with dumbbells, and then we have jumps without dumbbells. So we're doing sets of eight on the pit shark right here. Explosive, wide base, using those glutes, and then we want to get our jumps in. Um, for, uh, four reps for the jumps with weights, and then four reps without. Not too wide out, but I'm wide out. Make sure I'm hitting the glutes when I'm sinking down. Tucking my hips in. See, I don't know if you see the slight movement, but this is relaxed. This is this is engaged. Relax, engage. You need to be able to treat your body, turn your body into what the position it needs to be, versus just going in your your unproper stance. So hips forward, sink. Ain't doing nothing. Huh? Ain't doing nothing. Yes, I am. Don't be able to get touching on my body and stuff. All this puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I see booty hole all the way back there. <laughs> Y'all favorite exercise bench. <laughs> I've been focused a lot more on incline bench a lot lately. Three simple sets. We want to focus on a uh, set of 12. Set of eight, a set of six, and uh, probably a heavy set of three, and a set of one. This is just pure strength training for the chest. Uh, I like to, I just, I've just been enjoying the incline a lot more than flat lately because flat's been kind of nagging my shoulders, and every step that will come my shoulders a lot. I noticed that incline feels a lot better than flat. Oh. 
I hate the fat ass bars, bro. I had a fat ass bar before this one. I might want that. I might want to grab on that shit. I might want to <laughs> grab on that girth. All right, so right now we're gonna do a superset of a back exercise and a chest exercise. To further push on on that incline, we're gonna have the med ball. We're gonna do pushes to the ground, eight quick, boom, boom, boom. And then we're gonna do that same movement, but with dumbbells, and we're gonna row eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here counting, because your children gotta, you should count with me. One, two, three, four, all the way to eight, all right? Let's go. And we got four sets of this, back to back. This is gonna be a short rest time with 45 seconds in between. I said nice and quick, explosive. Get that chest and bounce right back to that. That is the end of the workout. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit up Transparent Labs for all of your supplement needs. I have not gotten one message of disappointment from everybody who has ordered Transparent Labs. Once again, you just go after math, about to take some build right now. Transparent. I was off of the pump pre-workout. Also, this is coming in clutch as well, I'll hydrate for in between. I mix this with the intra and um, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm out in Houston, so if you guys see me, this video will literally be out probably the next day. I'm probably gonna edit this tonight. Um, but I'll be out here in Houston, hitting the, hitting the Alpha Land and uh, Russ Wall. So if you got some other YouTubers out here you want me to connect with, let me know. But other than that, give this video a thumbs up. Use code Teron for Transparent Labs and I'll catch you guys later.